Norris Bittaker and Roy Norris are also known as the Toolbox Killers, and that's who we're talking about today. So let's jump right into the song. Lawrence Sig Sigmund Bittaker was born on September 27th, 1940, and um, Roy Lewis Norris was so weird, like Lewis Norris. It sounds weird to say. Was born eight years later on February 5th, 19, yeah, 1948. Their first victim was Lynn. Lucinda Lynn Schaefer, like Schaefer, like, yeah, on June 24th, 1979, and she was 16, yeah, 16 years old. On this day, Norris and Bittaker were going to the, sorry, I need to put my hair up, were going to the beach. Um, drinking, smoking weed, and flirting with girls. At approximately 7.46 p.m., the pair were um, driving down the street, and they saw a... They were driving down the street, obviously, and um, Norris then said to Bittaker, there's a cute little blonde. Yeah. That was a quote, so I had to make sure, like, I said it right. There's a cute little blonde, is what he said, to, uh, Bittaker. <sighs> they tried to lure Lucinda into the van, which did not work. And then they pulled up, like, a little in front of her on the street. And, um, like, waited for her to catch up. And then Norris exchanged a few, a few words with her before her pulling her into the van. When she was in the van, Norris bound and gagged her. While Norris was bounding and gagging Lucinda, um, wait, Norris was, Norris was the one bounding and gagging Lucinda, and then while Norris was doing that, Bittaker was blasting the radio, you know, because she was probably screaming while this happened, obviously. They then, in turn, um, sexually assaulted Lucinda, and then, in one point when Norris was um, assaulting her, she asked if they planned on killing her, and to which Norris responded, no. Norris and Bittaker bickered on whether or not to kill Lucinda, and they did in the end, obviously, because it's true crime. I mean, I guess, like, sexual assault is also true crime, but yeah, they, they, they decided to kill her. And so they man manually strangled her. At one point, Norris was trying to strangle her, but after 45 seconds, he said um, that the look in her eye, something about the look in her eye, and then he ran to the front of the van and started vomiting. So then Bittaker um, strangled her manually, and then they wrapped, 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 wrapped her body in a plastic shower curtain and threw her over a on July 8th in 1979, they got their next victim, which was Andrea Joy Hall, and she was 18 years old. Andrea was hitchhiking. She first got a ride from another vehicle, and which Norris and Bittaker followed that vehicle. And then when she got off that vehicle, they picked her up, they got her in the van, they bound and gagged her and then she was assaulted three times and then um, they uh, I think this is Bittaker who did this he got an ice pick and like stabbed through her, her ear into her brain on one side and then did it again on the other side and then strangled her and then she was thrown off a cliff then on September 3rd they noticed two girls that were Jackie Doris Gilliam, who was 15 years old, and Jacqueline Leah Lamp, who was 13. They were also hitchhiking, and they got lured into the van, bound and gagged, and then they were kept for two days, in which they got um, 
assaulted multiple times throughout those two days and then were killed similarly to um, Andrea. Their last victim was 16-year-old Shirley Lynette Ledford on October 31st. To put it in short and to um, spare you the disturbing and extraneous details, she was assaulted multiple times, beaten multiple times, and then killed very slowly and painfully and just not good. So yeah, I just don't want to put a lot of details in this one because it was very bad and I just... Okay, anyways, I hope you have a great Sunday. Nope, this is, wait. I'm recording this on Sunday, but it's going to come out on Tuesday. So I hope you have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next.